help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. first frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. Wow! What's all this? my extra special super duper with a cherry on top dance routine. The one that's gonna beat the big bitty city dance team in this year's dance off. It looks, um, uh, complicated? You better believe it. Every year the big bitty city dancers pull up a super complicated routine. But this routine will top them all. Uh, but Plum, the dance off is only a week away. All this? Yeah, I don't know. Learn this dance? All in one week? We have to. Let me remind you what we're up against. In case you've forgotten the humiliation, the shame, the disappointment of last year's dance off. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I remember having a lot of fun. If you call losing fun. They're great! Splendid! I can't wait to see what they do this year. Whose side are you on? Oh, Plum, I think the important thing is that we have a good time and do our best. That's what I'm talking about. Our best. Our perfectest. Ahem. Uh, perfectest is not a real word. But you might say our perfect best. Well, that's what I am saying then. Our perfect best. We will win. This year, we dance perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. Thank you, Blueberry. I'm glad you all agree. This is going to be our year. The year Berry Bitty City takes the dance-off prize. But we can't dance that perfect. We, Plum. Oh, we will. Just watch me. <clears throat> Music, please. like the dance we did last year. Exactly. We lost last year. Oh, but the outfits I designed were gorgeous. And I did a triple pirouette. Everyone in the audience cheered for us. It was spectacular. Do you see what's on that shelf? There isn't anything on this shelf. Except dust? Do you know what should be here? Uh. A dusting cloth? Ugh, no! A dance-off trophy! Plum, I can see how important this is to you. And we're your friends, so you know we're going to do our very best to win that prize. Huh. Thank you, Strawberry. Finally, somebody understands. <laughs> Hi, Mary Gibbs! What's this? I still don't 
don't understand what it's for. This! <laughs> standing on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. <laughs> hey, Orange. That's not fair. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? There's no rule against it. In fact, I haven't made up any rules yet. is no match for two birds. up some fancy tablecloths. Mm -hmm. And I have time to pick out some great music. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is going to be so much fun. True, but there's still plenty of work to do tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and I'll see you here bright and early. Not 
the real regatta queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your regatta queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mail? Got a buzz. Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh! I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, he would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Berry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Berry and Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh. oh, thank you, Barry and Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. I'm glad to help. Strawberry, it's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Dig in. Let me know what you think. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's great! Mm. Mm. Strawberry, it's wonderful! Mm, your best yet! Your reputation as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives, times ten. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> no. It's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, <Sally. laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said. And I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts... Well, that makes me happy. Mmm. Mmm! Mmm, that did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right? It's perfect! Yeah, <laughs> Good morning! Hi, Apple! Good morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> What's wrong? <gasps> My tablecloth!
finishing up my winter fashion. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Together! Stay together! <laughs> On the beat! On the beat! <laughs> Stand still! Not on your head! <laughs> It's just about time for the dance-off, everyone. <gasps> the dance-off? Now? sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> uh -huh. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your model's modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. <gasps> Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen.
Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Great, great grandy. Mmm. 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 Strawberry, you have done it again. Simple words fail to describe the great goodness, the incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morton Strawberry, a delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple! Uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this'll make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your Great Great Brandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> Great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, ten Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you. My own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Huh, where are you going? gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that, the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat, 
and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too! So did I! We all did! I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it! Come on! Let's do it. Come on, everybody! Welcome, everyone, to the annual Berry Bitty City Dance Off. Featuring the Big Bitty City Dancers versus the Berry Bitty City Dancers. <laughs> Our distinguished panel of judges will decide the winners. First up, the Big Bitty City Dancers. dance by the Big Bitty City Dancers. And now for a short intermission before the Very Bitty City Dancers begin. <laughs> <laughs> 